Hello, my crafty friends. Today we're going to be doing um, another layer on painty papers. So I guess this is painty papers part three, where you're not on the jelly plate anymore. At least for me, I'm not on the jelly plate anymore, and I'm just putting um, stuff from stencils down, and then I'll go over it. Um, the next step will be using stamps or um, or doodling. And I'm going to be um, probably not doing the whole the whole page. I'm just going to be doing little pieces of it. Okay, let me lift this up without. Okay, let's do a little bit more. Okay. Now that just adds a little something without um, completely overwhelming the page. I think. So I may want to add a little more. Let's just, just do some little pieces. Okay. That feels more balanced to me. Now my stencil needs to go somewhere safe. <laughs> okay. I think that one looks better and it I didn't do much to it just added a little bit of um, you know paint through a stencil but I like it so, let's get it out of the way and bring in another one this one looks like it needs a lot more than that to me <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put um, decorate the corners of this one and I'm going to just use that same metallic blue. Let's see, what is it called? Topaz by Anita's. Yeah, I like that. That adds a little something. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the middle. And use a... Um, I'm going to use a different color for it. Where's my... Here they go. All right, let's see... I think I'm going to do purple. That's looking pretty good. Okay. 
All righty. Oh, I like that. I think that's now officially a pretty painty paper. I would be happy to receive that in the mail. I think I'll be happy to send it in the mail. <laughs> oh. I like this one just like it is. I can't decide if I need to add anything else to it or not. Um, it's got a lot of different dimensions to it. I think I may. I don't want to do so much to the papers that the person who gets them doesn't have anything to do on them um, or feels like they can't do something on them because they feel like they have to leave them the way they are. Um, so this leaves room for them to do borders and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to change my mind and not add anything to that one. I just put a stack over here that I thought needed some more. Some more something. This is one that... Um, it's got a real subtle flower on it, and I think it's pretty, but um, but I wanted to do something around the border. I'm not sure what. Um, I'm wondering if I just do a little bit of something like that just on the edges. Let's let's try some of that and see. I don't know. I want to do it with a color that will um, complement. So I'm going to go ahead and use this same color I've been using. I may wish I hadn't done it, but I just feel like it needs a little something extra. And I'm not sure why some of them I think I should leave alone and some of them I, <laughs> I want to add to. But your eye just tells you how you feel about it. Just go with that. <laughs> I think I'm going to add some more here. And a little bit more here. Maybe just one. Okay, let's do a corner down here. And do a center here. I think I'm liking this. It's definitely not um, definitely not anything symmetrical, but just adds a little something extra. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit here just because there's nothing there. Even though it's tiny, somehow it looks like it needs a little something. Just not sure how to do it since it's tiny. <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, at least that way it doesn't look like I forgot that side. This white border has always bugged me when I'm jelly printing. That's why I'm hoping to be able to afford to get a big jelly plate soon. But right now, I'm gonna, I need to make painty papers. So I need to use what I've got. So <laughs> All right, let's go on. Oops. This is one where I think I want to do something in white on it. And I may just center this and just do it with white. And I didn't get any white out. Let me find something to put white on. 
There we go. I actually think I want a thicker white. Let me look real quick and see if I can find one. Oh. Well, I can't find it just white, but I found this metallic white, and we'll see if it works. It is a little bit thicker paint than the craft paint, so maybe it will work. Of course, now I've got a kind of a damp stencil. That feels pretty dry. Okay, we're just going to go for it, see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to once again do corners, though, and then put the middle in the middle. Okay. Add a little bit more thought to that. And here we'll do the same thing. Come on back. Okay. All right, there's the four corners. And now then I'm gonna try to center this. Best I can. This metallic white is, um, it's just not quite as opaque as regular white. And I forgot about that before I decided to use it. So I'm adding a little bit. It's not going to be perfectly even. And I'm going to be okay with that because I don't have much choice. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Oops. Okay, here's another one I wanted to do some white something on. And I had these. These are the stencils that, oh, where is it? Oh, they're both here. Okay. That I used on the jelly plate. And I thought I would go ahead and come back. Ah! <laughs> Oops. 
Okay. Be careful. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to do this one first. And I think I'm okay with it being light. Um Kind of subtle and it's going to be subtle in some places and not so subtle in other places it looks like Okay, let's, let me show you what that added to it. I think that looks nice. I think I'm glad I did that. All right, let's do the same thing with this one. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I think that's what that one needed. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see what, what can we do with this one. I really want to, to add a some kind of painty border. This one. And I think I want to do kind of a blue purple mixture and just do this. Um, see I'm gonna like having that on there so much I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and do all the ones with white like that. Yeah, I like doing that. I missed a little bit right there. Okay. I think that's pretty. And that just makes that one look a lot better. I think I do want to do... Um, Let's do, let's do just a few of these flowers on here. Not a bunch, just a few. And let's go ahead and where'd my white go? What? Go ahead and just do this.
let's do some over here. And I want that to mix in with that. I think I'm going to end up doing more than I intended to do. Because it's hard to figure out where to stop on this stencil. Okay, I'm just going to have to keep going. to just keep going because it seems weird to stop with just a pedal and no center there when you've got space for one so Let's see how that looks. Okay. It looks like I missed right in here. Okay, let's see if that's better. A little bit better. Okay, I like that. We're going to call that one good. And I think that's that's all we're going to do for this step. I'm not going to try to go through a ton of them. And then we'll come back and we'll do some stamping or doodling on them for part four. You have a great day and God bless you.